So today I picked a bunch of tomatoes out of my garden. Um, I got Tommy Toes, Romas, and then just regular big boy tomatoes. What I'm going to do is cut some of these guys up, dehydrate them, and I'll show you how I do it. Okay, so what I'm going to do is just cut the end off, with, and then I'm going to cut it into thin slices, like this. And then... Once we cut them into thin slices like that, then we'll just put them on our dehydrator tray. Then we'll put that in the dehydrator on the vegetable setting, which I believe is also 145. Um, and we'll dehydrate those probably just overnight. We'll check them in the morning. Okay, now I've put all the tomatoes that I can on the four trays that I have. Sometimes I really do need a bigger dehydrator, but I'll just have to settle for this one. Anyway, uh, I'm going to go ahead and put those in the dehydrator, and I was wrong about the temperature, it's 125, 125 degrees, or on a vegetable setting if you have an Excalibur like I do. Um, some of you guys may ask why I'm dehydrating tomatoes. Well, for several reasons. You can use it in several ways. Um, you can rehydrate them back in like soups, and then I'm doing these is to... Um, grind them up and use them as tomato powder for some of my meals in a jar that I'll be doing some upcoming videos on that. Um, I dehydrate them, ground them up in a coffee grinder, uh, put them in jars, and then when it's time to make the meals in a jar, it's ready to go. Okay, so right now <clears throat> these are done and you can see they're a little rubbery but kind of crispy too. They're still warm, but that's that's how you want them to be. As they sit out and cool down, then they'll be a little bit more crisp, and then that's when I will grind them up. And that's how you dehydrate tomatoes.